Bakery Square has come to symbolize the transformation of our region's economy from muscle to mind. And now it's expanding right across the street in a new development called Bakery Square 2.0. Developer Walnut Capital recently broke ground on the next phase. Greg Perlman is CEO of Walnut Capital and of Bakery Square. Todd Reedboard is president of Walnut Capital and Bakery Square. And welcome. Good to see you both yeah, again. Thank nice you. To see thank you. you. Nice Congratulations. To see you. Here you are. You know, this part pretty much done, ready to move across the street. Yes, and uh, things are going great, and we're excited to start our new next new uh, venture here uh, with uh, new housing and uh, 400,000 square feet of new office. Well, and what made you think the time's right to move on to Bakery Square 2.0? Well, believe it or not, we're fortunate to be full in our office space here. The, the tech community, the medical community, the educational community really embraced the development that we had here, which again was our vision and it really came true in the last few years. The Pittsburgh market and the Pittsburgh economy in our third res renaissance has been extremely strong. So it's time to expand. It really is the right time for us to, to move across the street and expand. That's, uh, that's great. So tell me what's going to be across the street? Well, we're going to have um, about 400 new rental apartments and townhomes. We're going to have uh, an opportunity to build up to 400,000 square feet of new office. Uh, and hopefully we're going to attract some other university-based uh, uh, technology companies to come and relocate here or possibly expansion from our current base here in our current lineup of tenants. Now for folks who, who know this part of town and the, this, this east end neighborhood of Pittsburgh, this is the old Reisenstein school site, right? There's a lot of open land right next to it. Yes, it's about 12 acres. It was originally put together in the late 60s, early 70s by the school district and it uh, has a school there that, that, that went out of use. It's really been off the tax rolls for over 50 years, so we're really looking forward to bringing it back, uh, paying taxes on the property and uh, kind of increasing the base for the city and the county uh, in terms of, of the, of the uh, economic development there. It's got to be an unusual opportunity to find 12 acres of relatively flat land in Pittsburgh adjacent to Shadyside. Very unique um, and an opportunity to have job growth and we're, we're projecting over 1,200 new jobs uh, that could be over there eventually. Um, and also the opportunity to be in a neighborhood like Shadyside across the border from East Liberty and such that we can work with the community and develop bike paths and, buy, and do green streets and work with our neighbors and, and uh, really blend the whole community into one site. The other thing that we're really proud of, and you mentioned the, 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 the size of the site, the 12 acres, that we're really able to do a kind of a sustainable development. So we're really working uh, in conjunction with the Urban Redevelopment Authority and the city and others to create kind of the first true green streets, green neighborhood within the city. So we'll have kind of a living boulevard, we'll have bioretention, we'll be able to manage the stormwater on site uh, and not burden the existing systems and really really do a benefit rather than not, not even being equal but really have a benefit. So given the size of the property, we've never had an opportunity to do this in Shadyside before where there was this much ground to kind of recreate this new neighborhood and we're really looking forward to that part of it. Yeah, that's a, and you mentioned the, the community. I mean, you've, obviously you, you, learn, you learn here at Bakery Square how much these community partnerships are critical to making these things work, so and, continuing in that tradition. And we, have to, and we have to work with them. We, you know, we did a lot of public meetings, neighborhood group meetings, important for us to get their support, which we did, and we went through that whole process and with the cooperation in the mayor's office and the URA, and now we, um, we've developed this amazing public-private partnership with the state, with the city, with the county, and um, recently we were awarded an RCAP grant or a uh, redevelopment grant from the governor, and which allows us to really make this an amazing uh, site for the rest of the world to watch. Really cool. Only a few seconds left. So when will it be move-in ready uh, for either the, the office or the residential folks? Well, those folks that drive down Penn Avenue see that we're demolishing the buildings on site. We'll start the first apartment building that'll be open in June of 2014. Uh, office building development will occur about the same time. So give us about a year, year and a half. Nothing ever occurs quickly in real estate, but you're going to see a lot of transformation coming soon. Well, Bakery Square 2.0. Congratulations, Todd Reedboard, Greg Perlman. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thanks so much. In the future, yeah. Thank you, sir. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.